hello and welcome to the nature art program week six and in previous videos i've got the weeks all muddled up um but i think we all have our weeks a little bit muddled up but this week we're going to do something very new to me um it's not something i've done before preparing for this and it's um just manipulating books Voila. so i started off with this one um just playing i mean these are very basic if you google this um, you'll find some really exciting things. Lots of um, artists manage to do words in books. Um, I don't know how you feel about <laughs> doing this to a book. I found this really difficult to do, even though this book is a charity shop book that I think somebody even gave me, and I've barely, I don't think I've even looked at it. So, as you can see, it's an art book. So, it has all these lovely, and that's the thing. Um, these are artist plates and that's what I've sort of turned and played with however I have um, since playing with that one I have seen that actually you can make your own this is a very simple this is just bits of paper that I've stapled as you can see very roughly because um, it was a bit thick and played with here um, and then another way move that out of the way is if anybody has made the funky um, books with me I'll just disentangle that one I've got two here um, that I've started playing with so I'll show you these I should know which week it was but I can't off the top of my head um, so these funky books that we made um, you can work with those as well so that's that's a homemade book just out of scraps of paper so i will just do i'm going to do that one in a minute Room. and i will just do a little stapled book anybody's done the plant printing these are my plant prints how many have i got here one two three i think i've got seven eight the staple gun is unlikely to go through but i will say is you want your nice patterny bits on the outside because you're going to be well yeah because no, you're going to be turning inwards oh well depends where you're going to turn because you could turn the other i'm i'm working from the center out so um you might have a play around and i'm not going to worry too much but i am going to this might be a bit thick and it's going to be too thick for me to get the staple gun all the way through so basically I'm going to do a few on this side and I'm going to turn around and I'm just going to do a few the other side and hope that all the pieces of paper at some point are joined to another piece and then open up and I'm just going to turn it back here where the staples are just so easier out out watch staples that aren't all the way closed I've just dug into my thumbs and open out to the center the center one there. there we go and I say I've seen this done lots of times but I haven't really done it because of this whole thing with books and then I started thinking well okay if you've, if you've got books that are gonna go I've worked in a charity shop before and I've seen what happens to books that don't sell. You know, they get passed up, they get pulped. So perhaps this is more interesting than a book that is never going to sell and um, is going to be pulped. But if you don't want to use an actual real book, there are other things. What I have discovered with these ones is also you can... So I'm just bending back these pieces of paper and I'm able to... Sort of slip them into the slot down the middle because I've made this book and it's got a big slot. And then I might go this way. Ah, this is where I've come unstuck. If you can see, I've because I had them all facing the other way because I've turned them inwards. But if you're turning them outwards, it's the outer pages. You really need to sort of have a play what am I doing that way have a little think about what you want to do with them I'm just 
and I'm going to turn them and like, oh. I'm just playing with these and just for demo reasons I'm not I'm just tucking them in and hoping they stay if you're happy with where you want them to be and they're not staying put you know stick some glue in there if I've got a bit of stick on the end glue them on so let's have a little look they're not actually staying put there so let's have it so I've just done I've just done really simple folds in so inwards and outwards um, in opposite direction which is why actually I did for this book here so I turned in one corner there and then the other side but in the opposite direction and then I actually just did these little easy tucks let's just have a look I'll just do a couple more it's not they need a little bit of encouragement to stay where you want them to stay I've got quite springy paper here this is recycled uh, coffee cup paper it's quite springy going to go all the way with this now because I realise it's quite boring watching me do that but what I have done is looking at adding little bits and bobs so some of you may recognise these little bits so I'm just for these I'm just folding these over and tucking them in oh hang on I have got some more green yet not that everything has to be matching or symmetrical that's what I have to try and tell myself so you can add bits in. So sliding bits in here. You can see that sort of adding a little bit of colour. There's something missing from the inside so I'm just going to but they also don't have to be you don't have to keep the pages intact so this one here which is as I say just from scrap paper I have just cut little um, snippets in oh, I've lost my scissors now underneath all these piles of paper that I've got here I did have some scissors. There they are. And I just, I mean, I ended up just moving towards the centre there, but you could just add in some snips wherever you fancy. There. Quite fun to do these with doilies actually if you have lots of doilies. These are great, aren't they? great for printing with. Or if you didn't want to, oh that's looking quite nice there. If you didn't want to do this afterwards, you could do this beforehand. So make like snowflakes where you would make paper snowflakes. And then, if you can see there, you know, it adds just a little bit of something fun. Make it a little bit different. And also on this one here, because I've just been playing with this one. Hang on, I think that one's got caught in this. Um, I've turned the, the ends in here as well. This is quite thin paper, so this is quite easy to say. This is just copy of paper, so it's quite easy to work with. Um, thicker papers might be harder and I've just gone round and tucked that in there 
come around this way as well. There are some great um, tutorials and videos of people making Christmas trees from books like this, so it might be something you want to look up. And that's again, you could just chop into those ends. I'm literally winging it here. Just I think I just had a thought when I saw that. I thought, oh, I wonder what that would look like. fingers and thumbs. You see? Just, it's, oh, experiment, you could experiment. This now, I'm really loving this bit here now, and I'm just thinking, oh, I could take that all the way up, see what would happen. I could chop out all of these bits here and see what that would look like and have a play. And then this one here, this is one of the funky books. This one has got inside, as you can see, because I put in envelopes in them. This is a much smaller piece here. I thought, actually, that's really quite nice. If you had a different sizes of um, papers when you folded or curled around. I go, here, I've got a bigger envelope, but it's still narrow. So if I curl that round here and see what happens. And that will stay tucked in because that's quite that's a double layer of brown envelope there. Oh yeah, it has stayed. And then if I go underneath again. Also, these are all, I say, all different. These were different shaped um, pieces of paper as well because we trimmed them. And then if I just do that other side. Oh. A little bit of moving. Coax them into submission. Feel the difference actually because I've used different um, sink. I've just looked at my nails and I apologize, I didn't notice before I started filming. I've been grouting, I've been a uh, mosaic in my pond, so I've got grout everywhere. So, yeah, even a nail brush isn't getting those out today. So that's quite nice, isn't it? It's quite a nice shape there. That one that's come full circle. gonna stand it back. The great thing about using these books that you may have already made is you don't have to be that precious with them. You can turn them back on themselves and depending on um, how many layers you put in will depend on how much you can work with them. I'm just gonna sort of add in little bits which are, these were just you recognise these, these are off cuts from when um, we did the mark making session and then after that we did the Turkish mat fold session and these are the bits that I've cut off the A4 sheets of paper to make the squares to do the Turkish mat fold. Stick that in an angle, I might just And you can go on and you can cut these really what would be really great really thin strips put in because that would have a really great effect it is just really having a little play and seeing what you can do with um an old book a notebook a few um layers of a4 paper the same and a staple gun if you haven't got a staple gun you could make holes carefully um, either side and then tie the string that would it's anything just to keep the paper together really um, and then and just have a little play 
I say I, I say it's something I've looked at a lot but then never thought I could bring myself to do it to a proper book which I have done but also to make your own out of just scraps of paper is even better I feel I feel it's a little bit a little bit more interesting um, and, um, and you can really have a little play add what you like fold in any way you like and I'm saying do have a little peruse on on the internet for other ideas because there's lots out there um, lots of people who've been doing it for years have got some great ideas for it okay thank you very much <laughs>